Amidst the global race for military technological supremacy, China has once again become the focus of global attention. After introducing stealth jets like the J-20 and continuing to develop the J-35, a new fighter jet is now being touted as China's most ambitious breakthrough in the airspace, the J-50. This so-called sixth-generation fighter jet is not simply an evolution of its predecessor. It is a bold statement that China intends to dominate the future of the air battlefield. This strategic move not only challenges Western dominance but also signals a major transformation in Chinese military doctrine, from conventional power to networked and artificial intelligence. The J-50 emerges with a striking appearance that breaks with conventional design conventions. Without vertical tail fins and canards, its appearance is almost pure stealth. This approach pursues the lowest possible radar profile, leading to extreme stealth, both visually and electronically. However, behind this innovation lies a significant risk. Without physical stabilizers, the J-50 relies entirely on an artificial intelligence-based digital control system. The ultra-responsive fly-by-wire system processes every input and correction in milliseconds. Flight stability is no longer a matter of classic aerodynamics it now relies, entirely on the reliability of onboard software and sensors. This approach has drawn both admiration and skepticism. Some analysts consider it a premature breakthrough, given China's limited combat experience with highly automated systems. Others, however, see this move as a reflection of the PLA's new direction, prioritizing networked and AI-based combat over purely maneuverable duels. With its futuristic silhouette, the J-50 appears to combine the stealth of the B-2 spirit with the agility of a fighter jet. But the loss of conventional control elements makes all stability dependent on software accuracy. In a combat scenario full of electromagnetic interference or cyber attacks, one small error could spell total destruction. Beyond its stealthy body shape, the J-50 also boasts other equally astonishing technical innovations. The jet's air intake system evolved from DSI, Diverterless Supersonic Inlet, technology, but combined with internal structures such as sub-ribs components, responsible for maintaining pressure stability at high speeds. The J-50's wing design also reflects its ambitions for flexibility. It can be folded to optimize stealth, or extended to increase stability at low speeds. This marks a modular design approach not widely explored by other countries. China is no longer simply an adopter, but rather a pioneer. But how well will this experimental design hold up in real combat? Will the folding wings withstand the pressures of extreme maneuvering? Will the subribs remain functional in the face of turbulence or explosions? Innovative designs are certainly appealing on paper, but their true success will be tested when the jet soars through storms, maneuvers in dogfights or evades missiles in dense combat zones. That's where the stakes will be decided. Interestingly, the J-50 isn't the only sixth-generation jet project in China's military portfolio. Behind the scenes, Chengdu is reportedly developing the J-36 a jet with a different focus. Electronic warfare dominance and deep integration with autonomous drone systems. Unlike the single-minded approach taken by the United States with the F-22 and F-35, China has allowed two major projects to proceed in parallel without a final decision. This has created a sharp battle between two defense industry giants, Shenyang and Chengdu. This strategy can accelerate innovation through internal competition, but it also opens up the risk of fragmentation. Development directions can become unclear, resources can be divided, and mass production readiness becomes a major risk. This is especially true if there is no clear strategic convergence between the two platforms. But despite their rivalry, both the J-50 and J-36 appear to be designed for more than just aerial combat. 
They are being prepared to serve as air commanders in a next-generation networked warfare system commanding drones, connecting with satellites, and serving as keynotes in the PLA's digital warfare network. The strength of a fighter jet lies not only in its radar-evading capabilities, but also in the weapons it carries. The J-50 is said to be equipped with next-generation air-to-air missiles with AI-based guidance, which are claimed to exceed the range of the pl 15 missile that has been a serious concern for the Pentagon. Even more impressive, there is speculation that the J-50 is designed to carry direct energy weapons such as lasers, which would instantly counter drone and short-range missile threats. If true, the J-50 would not only be an aerial predator, but also a flying defense shield for PLA formations. However, all of this begs the question, can this advanced weapon system operate reliably in environments full of electromagnetic interference? Can its uh, eye remain accurate in the face of jamming, spoofing, or even cyber attacks? Without validation in extreme scenarios, this cutting-edge superiority could be just a grand illusion. Imperfect on display, but fragile in combat. Behind every technological leap, there's a financial burden that can't be ignored. The J-50, with all its stealth hardware, AI systems, advanced avionics, and modular design, certainly demands a significant investment. Unlike the JF-17, which was designed with the export market in mind, the J-50 appears to be positioned as an exclusive tool for the Chinese military. Without international market support, old development and production costs must be covered by the state budget amidst uncertain global economic conditions. With all its accompanying technical risks and enormous costs, the J-50 could become a symbol of military supremacy, or it could become a costly project that leads to systemic failure. Interestingly, one feature often overlooked by the public is its electromagnetic spectrum dominance capability. The J-50 is thought to be equipped with an integrated electronic warfare system capable of radar spoofing, communications jamming, and even limited cyber attacks in real time. If true, the J-50 is not just a fighter jet, but an aggressive node in the PLA's digital combat network, being able to deceive enemy systems before the first shot is fired. That's where its true power lies. One crucial but often overlooked element of sixth generation fighter jets is how the pilot and the aircraft systems interact in real time. The J-50 is believed to feature a next-generation cockpit based on augmented reality, AR, and a helmet-mounted display, HMD, fully integrated with artificial intelligence. This system allows the pilot not only to view data but also to feel the battlefield instantly with a 360-degree view, drone, radar, and target data projected directly onto the visor. Furthermore, there are indications that the J-50 is developing a neural input system, or brain signal-based control system, where the AI learns the pilot's response patterns and proactively adjusts the control system. This is no longer a one-way human-machine relationship, but a dynamic symbiosis, the pilot becomes part of the weapon system itself. However, this technology is not without challenges. The deeper the human-machine integration, the greater the risk that the system will misinterpret intentions or commands. This is especially true under high-stress conditions or battlefield shocks. If it fails to read the pilot's psychological or physical context, the AI could erroneously take over control and that could be fatal. The J-50 appears to be experimenting with the future of the fighter cockpit, where the boundaries between man and machine are increasingly blurred. And, if successful, it would be a game-changer that would revolutionize not just fighter jets, but the entire way humans fight in the air. The J-50 is more than just a fighter jet. It embodies China's ambition to seize 21st century airspace dominance through radical design 
futuristic weapons, and uncompromising digital integration. But the greater the ambition, the greater the risk. The J-50 could become an icon of Asia's new power, or a costly lesson in the dangers of outstripping its own technological foothold. Now the question is no longer, can it or can it? But is the world ready for the new face of air warfare being secretly planned behind China's backs? Or, conversely, is China ready to bear the consequences of the biggest technological gamble in its military history?